I think there's so much going on right now and there's so much data and tips to share, but I think I'm gonna hone it in on more of a mindset. I feel the most important thing when you take this step into the remote working world is to be open to new things and to encourage everyone to bring ideas and new ways of working to the table. One of the biggest hurdles we see with people in the automation side, I mean, obviously I'm biased, but implementing a system like FlexiForce in your business is literally a no-brainer. It will most definitely take processes that you're currently doing in a very slow, manual, old-school fashion and automate them. But mostly people don't want to do it because they're not open to change and they have this false um, belief that the system that they're going to bring in is going to take so long to be adopted and it's going to cause so much havoc in my business. But the real havoc is the longer you wait to make these changes, the harder it gets. So that brings me back to that mindset of just encouraging people to be open-minded, encouraging yourself to be open-minded and encouraging everyone to try new things. One of the benefits of remote work is that it's quick. All these software and tools that we're talking about, you switch it on, you like it, you don't like it, you switch it off. Um, you're typically the software, the service world that we're operating in right now, it's switch on, switch off. So you're not buying into five year SAP or Oracle multi-million dollar contracts. You're far more light and nimble and flexible in your approach to it, which means you must leverage that. The upside is you can test and learn. So the innovator inside of me and my innovation management consulting terminology is coming back, but openness to change, try new things, test and learn, and yeah, fail and fail quickly. Mm -hmm.